So the big question, is Keir Starmer a narcissist or a psychopath or something? I am that, man. that man is not allowed in my house. So, Keir Starmer, what's going on? I can't tell you if he is a narcissist or a psychopath because I'm only a hypnotherapist and I don't think anyone could actually diagnose him without speaking to him. But he definitely has inner child issues. He has a high sense of entitlement. He doesn't respect people's boundaries. This seems quite obvious from recent events that he's a pathological liar. Probably the biggest clue that Keir Starmer could do with some inner child healing was during the pandemic. In 2001, 2002, Keir Starmer was out canvassing. He was out looking for votes in his constituency of Bath and he went to a pub in Bath. The landlord didn't want to let him in. The landlord wanted to speak to him about statistics and things. You have failed me. Thank you. Okay. We, okay. I've been a Labour voter my entire life. You have failed to be the opposition. You have failed to ask whether no, lockdown sorry, was functioning. Just behind. Can we just Do leave? you understand? Can we, we go on in? Thousands of people have died because what? you have failed to do your job I, I and ask the real questions. I, I well, I am telling you now. It doesn't matter what your views are on COVID, Starmer's behavior was very bad. He refused to listen to the man's views and Keith Starmer was in government, was in opposition at the time. His job was to challenge the government, to challenge the measures the government were taking. And he didn't do any of that. And the landlord wanted to ask him why. Right on the front line, keeping people alive. So I really don't need lectures from you right. about this pandemic. You can, you, you've got one. Why? Can we come in? Okay. Instead of listening to what the landlord had to say and listening to the landlord's opinions, Keir Starmer told him he wasn't interested in what he had to say and he was going in his pub anyway. Something along those lines. Uh, here's a clip of the video. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I am the landlord. Here's the landlord. That man is not allowed in my pub. It's the landlord. I'm not going to physically hurt him. That man. That's assault. I am not bothering you. I am not bothering him. That man is not allowed in my pub. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. Sorry, can you keep out of the way? Thank you. So Starmer decides he's going in this man's pub anyway. He sets his two goons on the landlord to restrain the landlord. This shows that Keir Starmer has a strong sense of entitlement, that he doesn't like to be questioned, that he doesn't like to have to justify himself, that he doesn't care how other people feel. The man was clearly very angry and Starmer didn't care. He, he just told him, your views were irrelevant, you're a peasant and I'm going in your pub. So it was pretty obvious that Starmer wasn't going to make a good prime minister from that one incident. And it doesn't really matter who you vote for, the government still gets in. If you're looking to the government to save you, to make things better. You may have noticed from recent years that you're, you're going to find yourself being disappointed. No one can save us. We can only save ourselves. And we can do that by connecting with our inner child, by making our inner child feel safe, feel secure, 
giving ourselves self-love, self-acceptance. If you like this video, find it useful or entertaining, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.